Hey everyone, Apple Addicting here, and I have a few iPod Touch and iPhone tips and tricks for you. Alright, so this is um, a compiled list of my eight favorite tips that I didn't know about and um, until I got one. So it's not like they're advertised everywhere. So I'm going to go through them on my little simulator and read through them as well. Okay, so my number one, um, well, this, this isn't in any order, but I'll start off with the Safari ones. Okay, so in applications like Safari, you can tap the status bar to automatically scroll to the top of the page and access the URL bar and the Google search. So, um, say this is the Engadget iPhone 4 review. I do not own this website, and yeah, not liable for that, and you're... Say that you're down here, you're halfway through this really long article, it's leaning up. And you want to get back to the top because you want a new Google search. But you can't be, you know, it's pretty long to scroll all the way back up there, especially if you're at the bottom or something. But a quick way to do that is just tap the status bar, which is this little bar up here with your iPod and, or iPhone your time, battery, and um, connections. So you just tap that and you're all the way back to the top and you can do a Google search from there or um, put in a, a new URL and that's pretty useful. Another cool um, tip, and tip is number two, to save an image from Safari. Just tap and hold it. Can't believe a lot of people didn't know this but asked around and everyone's like wow didn't know that so you can open it you can open it in a new page you, and you can save the image saving the image saves it to photos if you're on iPod touch or um, camera roll if you are on iPhone you can also copy the image and like say if you just want to use it one time and paste it into um, an email or something so yeah that's that um, fitting, fitting a page to Safari, I'm not going to demonstrate this, but I'll just talk you through it. If there's a website that's not mobile, like it doesn't have a mobile page, so it's optimized for a computer screen rather than an iPhone, iPod Touch, you know, that kind of stuff. You can tap a column to fit to page. And it, how it works is if you think about a normal website, there's usually um, a... T um, column of content in the middle and there's usually two sidebars or yeah two or more sidebars so you can tap on the main content and Safari will zoom in and block out everything else and you get a, um, a nice view of that okay here's getting off the Safari tips swiping to delete this is very useful if you um, have too many items like you're running out of space, you can go to um, videos as an example. And videos are pretty big, they're usually close to a gigabyte each. And so you can delete them and get more space on your iPod, on your iPod or iPhone, of course. So what you need to do is swipe from about here to here. Like that. And it's got a little delete button now, and you can hit delete which is really cool and I recommend hitting the cancel button you can um, swipe again like swipe again the same time same way but I recommend hitting the cancel button in case you accidentally hit delete which I have done once or twice um, the next tip is just variations of characters um, from the iPod or iPhone keyboard so this is just a, um, a note in yeah, notes. And you can get variations of characters such as N, E, A, I, O by just tapping and holding the character. And a lot of people didn't know that either. And you can get the funny N. I don't, don't know what it's called. And all these different A's. So you can get the, um, say you were typing resume. You can get the E for resume. Yeah, it's just 
helps you with pronunciation if you're typing up on notes. I have no idea why you would. But also, if you're writing an email or something, and you say, this is my resume or something, I don't know. Um, this is a, um, a reboot. Um, I've had to use this a few times when my iPod has frozen. Well, it's a soft reboot, so you don't lose everything on your iPod. It pretty much just resets it. You still keep all your apps, your music. So it's not like the, um, re um, I forgot what it's called on iTunes, where you lose everything if you hit the, um, restore button. That's what it is, restore. So you still keep all your stuff. It just resets it and fixes it if it was frozen. And while we're on the topic of the combinations of buttons, um, oh, and by the way, to reboot it, you press and hold the home button while pressing and holding the lock button. So just hold that for about 10 seconds while holding it, and it should reboot. Okay, so while we're on that topic of button combinations and stuff, um, you can take a screenshot by pressing your um, home button and your lock button together. So just for one second. So you just want to do this. And your screen will flash. And it should make a little camera clicking sound. And um, go into photos or camera roll on iPhone. And once this loads up, see, you can see that it's just saved my photo there. And that is my photo. I don't know what you'd use that for, but it's just cool. And this is my favorite one that I just found out recently. Is that you can save a Safari um, page or a shortcut to a Safari page as an application icon. And it's quite interesting, really. I didn't know you could do this. I was just messing around with my iPod the other day. And yeah, I figured why not just hit that button and see what it does. So once you've got your um, website up, you'd want to hit this plus button here. That one. Okay. And it gives you a whole bunch of options. You can add a book as bookmark, you can add to home screen, or you can mail a link to this page. And I've only ever used the bookmark feature. I've never hit, um, used the add to home screen feature. So I'm, I was just like, okay, might as well try it. So you hit add to home screen. And usually it just takes a, um, saves the image that it is of a screen, as a screenshot of um, the page where you were when you hit the um, add as um, an icon. But since Engadget is such a big site, it, it, they got the developers to make it so it would come up with this icon here. And you can type in your own name, such as review. And then all you need to do is hit add. And there you go. That is just a shortcut to um, the Engadget site. And it looks pretty good. Plus you can rename it. So yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial on tips and tricks for our iPhone and iPod Touch. Subscribe and check out my other videos.